Good morning, traders. So how do we trade the Aussie today? I think first things first, the daily, you can see how this 200 day moving average is still holding us up. And if anything in the history is to go by, you should expect another red day. However, we do have um, three green bars, four green bars in a row now. On the awesome moss ladder, we are pointing up on the stochastic. MACD is pointing up. So, you know, the, the oscillators are saying momentum is the upside and we should get some more upside. So, let's just have a get down to the daily, uh, sorry, to the one hour and we will figure out what we need to trade today. So, I think, sorry, before we get there, let's start off with the half hour and again, the closing range breakout was extremely successful. So there's a couple of ways you could have traded this. Um, so at the open, you could have taken along because if you look to the left, you would have seen that we are at a pretty major support area. So you would have expected a bounce at this level anyway. Are you going to take on that long? And uh, basically, you would have been looking for the gap closed but because the trend was down. You would have been expecting it to turn somewhere along this trend line here. They would have expected a turn at this level, but because you'd broken through the closing range, you could have basically ultimately waited for, or taken profit at the breakout target, then waited to see what happened, and then you've got target number two, target number three. So, you know, there was a, a great trade on offer there. Uh, for today, I would suggest you trade the same thing. So we look for the closing range breakout again which is those two levels there. Now, what I'm going to do is just, let's just put a level on the top there and a level over there. Okay, and then what I want to do is just put the breakout targets in as well. I put that breakout target and target number two, which will line up with there. So you can see how these targets for the closing range strategy, they all line up with a level to the left. Okay, you can see how they line up pretty, pretty nicely. Okay, so looking at the half hour, we are in an upward trend. Looking at the hour, we have just reversed this downtrend now and we are consolidating for a second push to the upside. This cup and handle is still in play. Okay, so we have this um, this fairly big cup and handle here that's in play at the moment. Um, so this is over the last two days, but then we do have this bigger one over here, which is also still in play. So let's just get this target in as well. Okay, so that target is up right at the top there. If we just look to the left, that is this gap close. Okay. Right. So those are the levels that we have at the moment. Now, this top level is 1,000 points away. Okay. It is possible, um, but probably not probable. So, a break to the upside will pretty much validate this second move for me. So the second move will be from here to there and to that. Okay, so that pretty much lands in no man's land. Um, we're going to get start getting pretty messy here. Okay, so that also lines up with this inside tail here. Right. So again, we have a situation where we have multiple um, bull flag, uh, bull patterns, sorry. So we've got this cup and handle. We have an even bigger cup and handle, which is pretty much uh, this level here that we're on at the moment. We're on the neckline right now. And we have broken this cup, bigger cup and handle as well. So we also have a potential um, head and shoulders here. So you can see here's a shoulder, here's a head. And he has another shoulder. A neckline would pretty much be um, right on this level up here. Okay, so 
let's just get some numbers to this. Um, I just want to get to the 12 minute, just double check here. So, yeah, so even on the 12 minute trend is still up, you can see how we consolidated here and then at the close how the um, alligator is pointing to the upside. Okay, so a, a very good entry would be to watch, well I suppose the entry was pretty much here. But, uh, I'm not a fan of leaving stuff overnight. So anyway, back to the 12. So a break to the upside of 58.97 will then target uh, pretty much 50, uh, call it 51,000 because it'll target this level up here. Okay, so it'll call, so first target would be 51,000. Then you have uh, 50, uh, 51, 1, 7, 3. Then we have uh, 50, 51, 3, 45, and ultimately uh, 51, 500. Oops, and sorry, the very stretch target at the top would be 51, 800. Okay, um, break below 56, 20 is going to bring uh, 53, 40, and 51.70 into play. Now a break below 51.70 will give us this bottom level which would be 49.800. Okay so I don't, you know, we've got, if you look at the 12 minutes we're above the 200 moving average. You look at the uh, 6 minutes we're above the 200 moving average. If you look at the 30 minutes we are above the 200 moving average you look at the one hour we're above the 200 moving average it's just the four hour that we are flirting with but this would be one two third attempt at it and the alligator is pointing to the upside so and then we've also got the 200 day moving average here so those are just the last two 200 moving averages that we need to break through so i do suspect upside and um, that's kind of my play okay so that's basically what we're looking for. Um, I'm looking for either a pullback onto the 20 moving average or onto the the alligator here. That would be a great entry to get in long. Um, alternatively, if we do have a bit of a gap up or we just consolidate at this level and then move, that's also will be an entry to the long side. But definitely if we break 58.97 with a six minute candle, so we have a six minute close above this level, um, that would be an indication for me to be long and stop loss is going to be underneath this range so it's fairly large 300 point stop loss so it's 300 points if we're going if we break the upside if we break the downside still 300 points stop losses up here okay and every fractional we break so if we do break this fractional here then obviously you can expect um, these fractals next we break those fractals then you're looking to break this fractional. If we break that fractional, then you're looking for the next one. Okay, and um, I'm on the 12 minutes, so I'll be looking for 12 minute closes above these levels to indicate that we are through. If we don't get a 12 minute close above those levels, then it's uh, take profit and wait for the next setup. Anyway, guys, hope that helps. Um, that's my trades for today. It will be long, and it'll be long on the break of the closing range breaker. Anyway, guys, enjoy the day, stay safe, and I'll catch up with you guys next week. Cheers, man.